Wednesday evening and an executive order was issued by President Uhuru Kenyatta in a new reorganization of the government structure. In the new changes, the office of the deputy president has been moved and will now be under the office of the president that has been renamed the executive office of the president. In a new move that appears to clip the powers and influence of deputy president William Ruto, President Uhuru Kenyatta has moved the budget of the office of the deputy president to be part of that of the office of the president. In the new order, ODP will not enjoy financial autonomy but will have to propose a budget that shall be approved by head of public service Joseph Kenywa. The executive order that puts the office of the deputy president under the office of the president means the deputy president will no longer have power to hire staff with the powers designated to head of public service Joseph Kenywa who will reallocate staff in the office of the deputy president. At the same time, and according to unconfirmed reports, the office of the deputy president will no longer have a standalone logo. The latest development is said to open a can of worms in the political arena, as it comes barely hours after changes were carried out in the National Assembly in what has been seen as an effort to tame a faction allied with the deputy president. In the new changes, the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, NMS, has also been moved to the executive office of the president. Among the functions of the Executive Office of the President are overall policy direction and leadership, a role that will be played by the Cabinet. The Executive Order also contains portfolio responsibilities and changes made in the structure of government. Daniel Karioki, K24 TV.